friends, Miss Danny and Mr. Monkey here from the Pleasant Hills Public Library. And we're so excited that you're here with us today for another Alphabet Adventures virtual story time. So if you've tuned in before, maybe you can help me remember some of the letters we've already gone over. There's quite a lot. We talked about the letter A and B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, oh, that's right, of course, K and L, M, N, O, P, and can't forget Q. So I wonder what letter we're going to talk about today. Well, before we can figure that out, we need to get our sillies out, our wiggles. So I hope you will join me in singing our hello song. We're going to start by waving our arms nice and big, but be careful, don't accidentally bunk. Oh, sorry, Mr. Monkey, anybody sitting nearby. Are you ready, friends? Hello, everybody, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello, everybody, and how are you? How are you today? Terrific, let's clap our hands. Hello, everybody, and clap your hands. Clap your hands, clap your hands. Hello, everybody, and clap your hands. Clap your hands today. Fantastic. Let's stomp those feet. Hello, everybody, and stomp your feet. Stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Hello, everybody, and stomp your feet. Stomp your feet today. Yay! Good job! Now, friends, do you think we can stomp our feet super duper fast? You do? All right, let's try it on the count of three. Ready? One, two. Three, fast! Oh, freeze! Oh, that was so fast! Now, let's do the opposite. What is the opposite of fast? Hmm. Oh, Mr. Monkey knows. Do you know? He says it's slow. Is that what you guessed? You're so smart. Now, let's try some slow stomping. <laughs> That's so silly. And now, my friends, let's try stomping our feet big and loud. So last time we counted up to three. This time, let's count down from three. Ready? Three, two, one. Big and loud! Whoa, freeze! Whoa, that was so big and so loud. Great job. So now let's do the opposite. Hmm. What is the opposite of big and loud? Hmm. Oh, that's right small and quiet. So let's do some tiptoe stomping. Very good, my friends. Very good. And now that our bodies are ready for stories, it's time to figure out what the letter of the day is. Mr. Monkey, could you please go retrieve your mystery bag? Inside Mr. Monkey's mystery bag are a couple different objects that start with the letter of the day. So let's see if we can figure it out. Oh, what do you have in there, Mr. Monkey? Oh, do you know what this toy is, friends? Let's see if I can make him work. This is a robot. A robot is a machine that's programmed to do something. So in this case, this robot is programmed to turn this little blue spinny wheel thing, which is pretty cool. Robot. Hmm, what else is in here? Oh my, we have a rhinoceros. Snort, 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 snort. A rhinoceros has a big horn on his nose and sometimes also a little horn like that. Rhinoceros. Hmm, have you figured out the letter yet? Ooh. There's two more things in here to help you. It's a rabbit. Rabbit. I like this rabbit's long ears. And look, he has a carrot on his shirt. How fun is that? Rabbit. <laughs> oh, and one more thing in here. Oh, it's a rock. Now, this rock has been painted, so we call it a kindness rock. And it says, you rock. 
<laughs> a rock that says you rock. How silly is that? Rock. Hmm. Have you figured out the letter of the day yet, friends? It's R. And on here we have a rabbit who is racing. Another fun R word. Can you think of any other words that start with R? Hmm. I have some red roses on my shirt. That starts with the letter R. And what about rocket or hmm, rainbow? Rainbow starts with the letter R. I love seeing a rainbow and you can't have a rainbow without rain. Hmm. Can you think of any other words that start with the letter R? Hmm. And now, friends, let's practice making the r, r sound of the letter R. We're using the objects in our mystery bag. We'll start with our rock. Ready? R, r, rock. R, r, rock. Very good. Can't forget our robot. R, r, robot. R, r, robot. Wonderful. And what about our friend, the rhinoceros? Sometimes just shortened to be rhino. R -r rhinoceros. <laughs> That's a tricky word. We'll just shorten it this time. R -r rhino. <laughs> Very good. And last but not least, our friend, the rabbit. R -r rabbit. R -r rabbit. Very good. So all of our stories and songs today will feature the letter R. Our first story today is about a rooster, another fun R word, who doesn't know how to crow. Do you know what roosters say? They say, cock-a-doodle-doo. But this rooster, his name is Bob, he doesn't know how, so he's going to set off on an adventure to learn. This is written and illustrated by Tracy Campbell Pearson and read today with permission of Macmillan Publishing. Bob, a rooster, lived with a bunch of chickens. The chickens clucked all day long, and so did Bob. Cluck, cluck, cluck. One day, Henrietta told him the truth. Bob. She said, you are not a chicken. You are a rooster. You need to stop clucking and learn how to crow so you can wake up the girls every morning. That's what roosters do. Ah, will you teach me? asked Bob. No, said Henrietta. I am a cat. Cats don't crow. I can only teach you how to meow. So Bob learned how to meow. Then he went off in search of a rooster. Meow, meow. Bob walked and he walked until he met a dog. And he learned how to woof and to wag. But a dog is not a rooster. So Bob continued down the road. Road, another fun R word. Meow, meow, woof, wag. Bob walked and walked until he found a pond full of frogs, and he learned how to ribbit and hop. But a frog is not a rooster, so Bob continued down the road. Meow, meow, woof, wag, ribbit, ribbit, hop, hop. Bob walked and walked until he came to a field of cows. He learned how to moo, and he tried to chew his cud, except for he didn't have one. So Bob decided to eat bugs instead. But a cow is not a rooster. So Bob continued down the road with a belly full of bugs. Meow, meow, woof, wag, ribbit, ribbit, hop, hop, moo, yum, yum, bugs. He walked right out of the day and into the night, searching for a rooster to teach him how to crow. Walking through the darkness, Bob got scared. He was sure he was being followed. So he got Then a stranger called out, Hoo, hoo, hoo. Well, not wanting to be rude, Bob whispered, Bob, Bob, Bob. 
again the stranger asked, Who? 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 And again Bob whispered, Bob! 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 And so it went all night long, over and over again, until the first morning light when Bob heard... <gasps> Could it be? There in the middle of the road was a bird who looked a lot like Bob. His name was Fred, and he taught Bob how to crow. So he finally found another rooster. It was dark by the time Bob walked all the way home. He settled in for the night, being careful not to wake the girls or Henrietta. Well, Bob was too excited to sleep, so he was wide awake when the fox came, and he let out a big cock-a-doodle-doo, <gasps> but it didn't scare the fox. And then Bob called out aloud, meow, 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 woof, 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 ribbit, 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 moo, yum, yum, fox. Well, the fox, terrified and amazed by all the animals in the coop, especially the one that sounded hungry for fox, ran home, never to return. And from then on, every morning, Bob woke the girls and Henrietta up with a cock-a-doodle-doo. Or, if he felt like it, a meow, woof, ribbit, woo, yum, yum, bugs. <laughs> Isn't Bob a silly rooster? So there are some more fun R words in that story that we hadn't talked about. Road, run, ribbit. Those were all good ones. And now, friends, let's cozy down and sing a fun song about robots. And now, friends, I hope you will join me in singing The Lights on the Robot, which goes to the tune of The Wheels on the Bus. And instead of the traditional last verse of All Around the Town, we'll sing All Around the Rocket Ship. So we get two fun R words, robot and rocket. We will pretend to be the robots, and we're going to start by getting our lights blinking on and off. I'll be using my hands, but if you would prefer to use your eyes, you certainly could. Are you ready, friends? The lights on the robot blink on and off, on and off, on and off. The lights on the robot blink on and off, all around the rocket ship. Very good. And now let's move our robot arms. Ready? The arms on the robot go up and down, up and down. Up and down, the arms on the robot go up and down, all around the rocket ship. Very good. And now we're going to turn our dials. We're going to turn them left and right. You can move your whole body if you'd like to stretch. Ready? The dials on the robot turn left and right, left and right. Left and right, the dials on the robot turn left and right, all around the rocket ship. Very good. And now we have one last verse, and our robots are going to power down or go to sleep. Are you ready? The power on the robot is shutting down, shutting down. Shutting down, the power on the robot is shutting down, all aboard the rocket ship. Very good singing, friends. Very good. And now, let's hear another story. Our last story today is all about rain. It's been raining a lot here in Pittsburgh. Has it been raining where you are? Rain is good because it supplies water to the plants and the animals. And in this story, it brings a desert to life. This is written and illustrated by Mauna Srochik and read today with permission of Penguin Random House. So we have the mommy monkey here. It was hot. Everything was hot and dry. The red soil was hot and dry 
and cracked. Whew. A porcupine sniffed around. Oh, it's time, she whispered. The rain is coming. I can smell it. Oh, I must tell the zebras. Lightning flashed. Oh, the rain is coming, said the zebras. Porcupine can smell it. We can see it. We must tell the baboons. Thunder boomed. The rain is coming, cried the baboons. Porcupine can smell it. The zebras can see it. And we can hear it. We must tell the rhino. A raindrop splashed. The rain is here, said the rhino. Porcupine smelled it, the zebras saw it, the baboons heard it, and I felt it. I must tell the lion. The lion spoke in a deep purr. Yes, the rain is here. I can smell it. I can see it. I can hear it. I can feel it. And... I can taste it. It rained, and it rained, and it rained. It rained until every river gushed and gurgled. It rained until every water hole was full. And then the rain stopped. And everywhere, long, feathery grasses grew from the soil. Every tree began to sprout fresh, green leaves. I can't taste the rain now, purred the lion, but I can enjoy the shade of these big, green leaves. I can't feel the rain now, said the rhino, but I can lie in the cool, soft, squelchy mud. <laughs> oh, we can't hear the rain now, said the baboons, but we can eat fresh, juicy fruit from the trees. Mm. Oh, we can't see the rain now, said the zebras, but we can have a refreshing drink from the water hole. I can't smell the rain now, whispered the porcupine, but I know that it'll come back again when it's time. And the sun shone over the plain. It was hot and everything was drying out. The red soil was hot and dry and a tiny crack Think it'll rain again soon? Maybe. And now, friends, let's learn the American Sign Language sign for the letter R. We're going to start with our dominant hand, which for me is my right, also starts with the letter R. And we're going to take our two fingers up here and cross our pointer finger over our middle finger to kind of make a zigzag and then push our other fingers down with our thumb. This is the letter R. Now, this one is a little tricky to get your fingers to stay in place. So you might want to practice it a little bit. R, 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 R. Very good. And let's real quick review the other signs for the letters we've learned so far. I know there's a lot. So A has a fist with our thumb on the side. B, our fingers going straight up with our thumb across. C looks like a C. D, bring those fingers down and your pointer up. E, scrunch those fingers up. F, bring your pointer to your thumb and spread out your other fingers. G is one finger with your thumb like this, kind of in a pinching motion. H, add a second finger. I is just your pinky. J, dip that pinky. K is two fingers with your thumb in between. L, looks like the letter L. M, puts your thumb between your pinky and your ring finger. N, bring it over so now it's in the middle, between your middle finger and your ring finger. O, Looks like an O. P is like a K, but upside down. So you've got your two fingers down and your thumb in between. Q is kind of like the H, but facing down. So our little pinch like this. And now R with our 
point your finger over top of our middle finger. Very good. I know that's a lot to learn and remember, but I am positive you're doing a wonderful job. And now, friends, let's review, another fun R word, all the letters in the alphabet by singing the ABC song. While we sing, if you'd like to, feel free to dance to the beat, clap to the beat, stomp to the beat, or hmm, boogie to the beat. Yeah, why not? Let's give it a shot. You ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? <laughs> Very good, friends. Very good. <laughs> well, my friends, it is time to say goodbye. Even though we can't yet be together in our physical space doing programs here in the library, I am so excited that we get to share this time together virtually. As a reminder, we will be starting outdoor story times at the Pleasant Hills Arboretum very soon. In fact, starting May 11th, as long as the weather is good. So, I hope to see you there at 10.30 in the morning. If you have any questions, feel free to give the library a call at 412-655-2424 or shoot an email to pleasanthills at einetwork.net. Well, friends, it's time to sing our goodbye song. So look around and find somebody or something to hug and join me in singing The More We Get Together. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. <laughs> Bye, friends. See you next time.